so how to update how to update sap systems how to update or upgrade sap systems using sum tool using the sum tool how to update this one here so this is the one here normally we know using the spam and saint so we can update it right we can go to the spam transaction code we can load the patches in the front end or application server level so then we can update it right so this is the one way but this is the old method this is the old method which we are following this is the old method which we are following here at the same time so uh, suppose if one or two components fine using the spam and saint we can update it but if some more than components more components are there it's a more it's a lots so in this case how to do that one and also there is a restrictions in the downtime also here so in this case how to proceed so here we can use the we can use the some for some tool here we can use the some tool for the upgrading the our sap systems See, any sap systems from any version to any version we can use the some tool some tool here before introduce the some tool we may have to manually perform the using the spam and saying there is a one of the ehpi tool also here so that is not there now now we have the some tool we have to update that one but some tool required the so stack dot xml file here stack configuration file here so before we go ahead and update our systems with some tool so what are the three steps we have to perform it here what are the three steps three steps we have to perform in our systems here before we update those things here right three steps in the means preparation steps three preparation steps what are the steps we have to perform it here so to update the sap systems so make sure make sure make sure we have to push the data means our system our nwd suppose example so nwd system should be up to date up to date in up to date in the solman so sld solman sld from here lmdb will pick up the data from here it lmdb will send to the lmdb will send to the your service marketplace then explore systems explore systems here so here in this case so so our system should be up to date in the solution manager sld here so sir in case if we don't have the solution manager system then how to update it here if we are the solution manager system so we can go to the rz70 is the transaction code there we can push the data to the sld then lmdb will pick up solution manager lmdb from here service marketplace then explore systems like this the data will be automatically will be updated in case if you update your system data if you go to the rz70 so then then here you need to provide the your uh, sld details and everything here then if you click on the ok button automatically the data will be sent to the your sld what type of what data here so here your current system related information this current system related information suppose your current system is the net fever version this system release and sp level information will be the release and sp level information will be sent to the your target so means your solution manager system why we need to send the data means to calculate the to calculate the basically we need to generate the stack.xml file here to generate the stack.xml file our system our system should be up to date in the in the so in the all the areas here in case of if you don't have the solution manager here then how to update manually here so in case of if you don't have the systems then so manually manually download the download the sysinfo.xml file from file from so you are a saint transaction code of nwd system then import into import into your service marketplace then explore systems this is the one here right in case 
in case in case if you don't have the solution manager as yes, we don't have the solution manager in this case so manually download the sysinfo.xml file here sysinfo.xml file from saint then import into the service marketplace explore systems here so if you see here here we can go to the saint transaction code in the saint transaction code generate the system information dot xml file here sysinfo dot xml file here so this sysinfo dot xml file we have to generate it we have to generate it here so once it is generated then we have to upload into the service marketplace maintenance planner service marketplace maintenance planner we have to update it here right so then the third step once the then we have to import into the here then select the system select the system in so in the explore systems in the maintenance planner uh, explore systems then calculate the calculate the target the target patch levels patch levels means from which version to which version you are going to upgrade those patch levels we need to calculate it here the three steps are very 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 important here so select the system from maintenance planner so then calculate the target patch level then answer them. so download push the once you calculate it push the all the patches to all the patches to so download basket there is a download basket so then download basket and download all patches together all patches all patches we can download it here so then once you download it and ready the normal steps are normal three steps are there here normal steps like so in the system we should check the free space we should check the free space free space application level db level we should check the free space here so then we should we should not have and also sm13 clear the clear the failed updates clear the failed updates if any if any we have to clear the failed updates here then so in smq1 in smq1 there is a mc exqs mc exqs in smq1 mc exqs so we have to mc exqs we have to clear we have to so we have to pre process the we have to process here we means functional team will help to process here right check check if any open spdd or spau entries in transaction code so then so then sm58 if any failed transactional rfcs failed transactional rfcs we need to process here so these all are the so mandatory things we need to check it out here otherwise some tool will stop will ask will tell us to process these things then only some will continue the next steps here some will continue the next step here right so then these all are the three steps preparation steps before you launch the some tool then do that one we need to check the all those things here all right so then check if any inactive objects inactive objects in sg8 if any inactive objects we need to check that one here and also check if any if any unreleased unreleased transports if any unreleased transports we need to make sure we have to clear them check if any open repairs open repair transports so we need to check those things here then so download the all the patches here that's we know already so these are the preparation these are the main steps which we have to perform in the each and every system here before you start the some tool here then take the backup of the existing system here take the backup of take the backup of existing so sap data system take the backup but before you launch it you take the backup of existing system here so right so normally we know how to check the free space none now sm13 so we, if you go to the sm13 here sm13 here then go to the sm13 here we have to see any if any failed update records then we need to cancel or we need to process it here 
here they are the two failed update records here just check what's the error here this is the i think duplicate record here right try to repeat the update here then it will process even though it is not processing then select all then you can delete this one here delete the records otherwise what will happen these things this failed update records will be will be so notified during the some screen during the some some tool will detect you have the issues so please clear it out like this this will detect the issues here so accordingly we need to choose the all those things and everything here right so that is the one and also in smq1 especially for the ecc systems here especially for the ecc systems in smq1 if any mcex queues queues so then we need to so clear that mcex queues we have to clear it here right so any open spdd open transaction any se it is suppose if you go to the se03 or 01 you see uh, here in the transport section here you see is there any open repairs there the five transports are open repairs here means objects are locked in this node here we need to so release or we need to unlock the objects here and also we need to check is there any so is there any modifiable transports is there any modifiable transport unreleased transports so just put the star check it out here you see is there any unreleased transports in the development especially in the development system here so we may have to plan to release our so we release our we have to discard we have to delete it this transports why because if not useful we can plan or delete it here why because some tool will prompt some tool will detect all these issues during the some upgrade system upgrade time some tool will detect all those issues here right so that's why we need to carefully check all those points spaces everything we have to carefully check inactive objects means if you go to the SEAT, SEAT transaction code. So here there is a repository objects table here. Here you can see inactive objects here. Here you can put the star and check it out here. You can put the star and search. You see, are there any inactive objects? So nothing is there. So this is are good here. So like this, we need to clearly check the all those things in our systems here all those things in our systems here okay so this is the thing here the main these all are we can check it out not a problem but the only thing is here generating the stack.xml file that is the very important here generating the stack.xml file here generating the stack dot stack configuration file this is the key for the this is the key for the your entire SAP upgrade here. So how the lock is very important for the home, for the SAP upgrades also for the sum tool. So this generating the XML file configuration file is very important here. So it is the formal in the real time systems. This is the first approach we have to follow. In case system is not there in the, in case system is done, your system, your, there is no solution manager, then in this case, we have to manually check all those things. We have to update it here. So let's see how to do all kind of things here, manually downloading and everything here, right? So we have downloaded the so all the files here. We have downloaded the stack configuration files here, right? So sysinfo.xml file, I mean to say, sysinfo.xml file we have downloaded here, sysinfo.xml file. Go to the service marketplace here. This is the service marketplace here. here so here, what we have to do? Here you need to access SAP for me. You need to just select the access SAP. It means me.sap.com. You have to go to the me.sap.com. You have to go to the me.sap.com here. So then once you go to the me.sap.com, then you will see the systems provisioning option here. There is a maintenance planner option here. You can see there is a maintenance planner option here. Just click on the maintenance systems provisioning. This is the one of the critical steps. This is the one of the critical steps which we have to take care here. So here you see there is a option. So maintenance planner here. There is an option to maintenance 
planner, maintenance planner here. Normally, you will not get chance to do this one. Well, because we are S user ID, we are using here. So that, that's the reason you will not get the chance, but you can see the carefully, you can listen to what I'm saying and everything here. loading okay so what i will do i will pause the so that is the way in the offline we discussed about the the xml file calculations and everything here then once the xml calculation is done then what next after that here then we need to start the sum tool here we need to start the sum tool here we have already some folder is there so let me try to reset the sum here we have already i think it started so let me try to reset it here so it's not like uh, uh, some some steps i will tell you clearly so what we have to do and everything but we have already some screen is there so some already previous uh, i think unlift some some versions are there i think we need to clean them before that if anything here so let me so clean them here so we need to log into the SID ADM user. But these are the so the preparation steps which we have to follow. All the steps, these are the mandatory. These two steps are the very, very important. Then these we can perform it. So you can perform it these steps. So whenever you are ready here. So meanwhile, all our software will be downloaded and keep it ready in the systems so that so in the tomorrow's activity. We can directly log into the sum screen. We can launch the sum screen. Then we can do the, we can launch the sum screen and we can do the all kind of uh, like uh, step by step, step by step, all activities, shadow system, everything we can discuss now. So that is the next step. Okay. That is the one. So I can do it with some uh, resetting, some resetting in the offline. So yeah, that's what you want to stay. You can stay 